For this part of the course, we're interested in making certain observations of properties of stars. Uh, in particular, we're going to look at the velocity, the radial velocity of the star, which you met in the higher under the title of redshift. And also, second thing that we'll look at here is going to be the distance to a star, which we can obtain through a technique called parallax. Uh, that was also introduced in the higher. Now we'll use some real data and we'll get that from the SIMBAD astronomical database. And what I would recommend is that you do a basic query, basic search. The stars we're going to look at are in the table, so we've got Alcade first. Al these uh, Alcade, Merak and Duba are all in the plough. Uh, Polaris is the North Star. So first one, Alcade. So there's quite a lot of information. We don't really need to worry about most of this, but I want to draw your attention to the radial velocity, which is also under the redshift category. So if you look over here in the grey text here, we've got Z, and we've got a Z value, just like what you would have had in the higher. Um, in this case it's negative, which means it's moving towards us. A positive redshift is moving away from us. Negative redshift would technically be a blue shift moving towards us. So for each star we've got the redshift. And then also we've got the parallax. And the parallax is measured in a very, very tiny unit called the milli arc second. So in this case, milli arc seconds, we have 31.38 milli arc seconds. Now thinking back to the uncertainties topic, then this would be plus or minus 0 0.24 milli arc seconds. And also there's an uncertainty for the redshift, plus or minus 0 point, a whole lot of zeros and then a 2. So that was for Alcade. So we would fill those details into the table, and now we can just go back and do the next one, Merak. Merak is one of the pointer stars in the plough. Merak and Duba point towards Polaris, the North Star. So here we go for Merak, and we've got the redshift and the parallax. Now you can do the same for Duba and Polaris. Finally, uh, I, we don't really need to worry about this particularly for the astrophysics part of the course, but you'll notice there are coordinates for the stars, each star has a, an angle coordinate, two angle coordinates, and you could think of these as being similar to latitude and longitude. They're called right ascension and declination, and you certainly don't need to know the technical details of these coordinates for the advanced higher. But when we do general relativity, having an understanding of coordinate, the idea of coordinate systems will be useful.